happy to be here at the Angus Barn with Pink Shoemaker, and I want to know your best mulled spice wine for the holidays. Well, just uh, do you want a little history? Yes. So historically, the the Romans drank spice wine, and from there, eventually, it became a real English tradition to make mulled wine around Christmas time. Exactly. So that's sort of a quick, quick history. But normally, with mulled wine, you want red wine. Okay. And you want it to be a simple red wine, not a lot of oak, but but just a young and fruity. It could be a jug wine. It could be anything that you have. Right. And we, of course, want a North Carolina wine. Well, of course. What did you choose? Well, that's why we have the Banner Elk Winery, uh -huh. uh, Banner Elk Red. Sounds so good. So it's sort of a red blend of three different grapes okay. and real fruity and, and a delicious wine. They make a lot of great stuff. Excellent. Okay, yeah. so how do we make this recipe? All right, so you need a couple of things. There's many more things you can add, but I wanted to make it very simple. So we have all spice, mm -hmm. which is something that we're going to use. And I believe in pinches, not all this crazy stuff with spoons and everything. So I put a pinch of all spice, okay. which actually I discovered it comes from a pepper tree in Jamaica, a Jamaican pepper tree. I didn't know that either. Yeah. So we have star anise. And then, do you recognize this? I do some cloves. Some cloves. Some pinch put cloves, that in. Yeah. Now, we also have one cinnamon stick that we're going to put in. You can put in two, so we're going to put in two because I love cinnamon. And then you want to squeeze an orange in there. So we're going to squeeze what's so left over from an orange. And, a lot of fruit. and I, I actually just throw the whole rind and everything in there, seeds and everything. Because we're going to strain it at the end, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. So okay. real simple. Now, if you want to, you can add other fruit in there too. You can add apples or apple cider. You can add cherries, raspberries, blackberries, and Ooh. anything that you want. A, a lot of people like to use lemon and limes. Um, I did bring a couple cherries just for interest. Okay, got those in there. And then normally, th this is about a cup. So this is sugar in the raw okay. that I like to use. Could you do brown sugar, white sugar? Any sugar you want. Any sugar you got. It does call for a specific sugar, but nobody carries that, so, you know. <laughs> I, to me, the easier the better. So then we take a little bit of the wine, uh -huh. and just put it in there. And then we take it over to the stove, and we start cooking it. So we're going to let the sugar dissolve and all the flavors melt together. It. Let's go to the stove. Yeah. All right, so we've added a little bit of wine to right. dissolve it. So you want sort of a syrupy mixture. Uh-huh. And, and how long are you going to heat that? Um, well, I'm going to heat it for just a couple minutes until it's completely dissolved, and I'll add the rest of the wine and slowly cook it for two or three hours. And that's how you make mulled wine. Mulled wine. All right, so then once everything's nicely melted and it's a nice syrupy consistency, right. we're going to go ahead and pour the rest of the wine in there. Just let it slowly cook for a couple hours. Pink, it smells wonderful. It does, doesn't it? Yes. How do we serve it? So, we want to have a pitcher of some sort and a strainer. I have a cloth here because I've been known to catch my kitchen on Make fire. A mess. So, I thought I would Let's don't do just that protect today. myself today, <laughs> just in case. So, just want to carefully pour it. Okay. And not splatter. Try not to splatter. Wow, this smells really great. You know what's really neat though is I just recently, uh, the Banner Elk Winery has its is located in a in a new ABA as of November. It's the Appalachian uh, State. It's Appalachian High Country. High Country. Excuse yes, me. I heard High that Country as well. ABA. Isn't that exciting? Yes. Lots of great things are happening here in North Carolina when it comes to our wine. There are. There are. And so now we have our very hot wine in the pitcher. All right. Now, what we made, what, about four servings? Yes. Okay. Now, one thing I forgot to mention, now you can add a little rum in this or any kind of liquor of your choice, usually an ounce for the mixture. So one ounce of whatever with a bottle of wine. You can spice it up if you want. And then an orange slice. To make it pretty. Yeah. Or. You can take a bite of the orange slice and then sip that or have it stewing in. I like to just have mine floating in there. Oh, that's just a good idea to, to, to make it easier to drink. Yeah. So there you go.
Belisa, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you as well. To you and everyone out there. I hope you have a blessed, safe Christmas. Exactly. And remember, for the holidays, it's got to be NC Wine.